Alright. So now what are we doing in this place? Well, a couple of things. We're continuing more of the dating stuff, since we gotta do that to get the true ending. But I'm gonna use that mystery key. Er... There we go. Use the mystery key, the red house's door was unlocked. The key disappeared. There we go. Whose house is this? I'm just gonna read the diaries that are here and let you figure it out. Dear Diary, Shiren's sister fell down recently. It's sad. Without her sister to speak for her, she's become more reclusive than ever. So I reached out to her and told her that she, Bluki, and I should all perform together sometime. She seemed to like the idea. Dearer Diary, I'd like to make a new diary for every entry I make. Wow, that's kind of, um... Um... What's the word I'm looking for? I don't know. I'm not grafted to your head. I can't tell what you're thinking. But we share the same brain. Shut up! Oh, okay. I love to collect diaries. That was pointless. Dearest Diary, our cousin left the farm to become a training dun dummy. Oh, that must be one of the ghosts. The ghost dummy thing. Is that the mad dummy? Who knows? That leaves just Blukey and I. Blukey asked me if I was going to try to become corporeal too. They sounded so resigned. Come on, Blukey. <clears throat> you know I never leave you behind. And besides, I never find the kind of body I'm looking for anyway. My darling diary. Darling? That sounds familiar. I met someone interest someone interesting today. Last week I posted that advertisement for my human fan club. Today was our first meeting. Only one other person came. Honestly, she's a dork, and she's obsessed with these awful cartoons. But she's kind of funny, too. That must be Elphys! You're realizing that it kind of funny. Yup. <sighs> okay. I want to see her again. Diary, my dear. My diary collection is going fabulously. I have, like, five now. Oh, uh, that one was pointless. Dear Diary, she surprised me with something today. Sketches of a body that she wants to create for me. A form beyond my wildest fantasies. In a form like that, I could finally feel like myself. After all, there's no way I can be a star the way I am now. Sorry, Blukey. My dreams can't wait for anyone. Wait. Is this Metaton's house? Yes, it is! Good! I didn't have to explain it to you. You should try to explore the other stuff in the room. I can't. There's too many diaries. Oh. Okay. Uh-oh, it's Papyrus. What? 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 It's a living. What's up with the piano? I don't know, maybe there's a piano inside that weird fish hut... Um, ...house. Oh ho! The human arrives! We were kind of dancing there for a bit. Are you ready to hang out with Undyne? Uh oh, this could go badly. It most likely will go badly, but let's let it go anyway. 
I have a plan to make you two great friends. Your plans tend to be horrible. Yep, but I have no choice. Must hang out. Okay, stand behind me. Already doing that. Psst. Make sure you give her this. She loves these. You didn't actually give it to me, though. Hi, Papyrus. Ready for your extra private one-on-one -on -one training? You bet I am! And I brought a friend! Hi, I don't think we've... Da -da -da. Why don't you two come in? He seems giddy about that. Here, Undyne. My friend brought a gift for you. On their own. Uh, thanks. I'll, uh, put it with the others. Wee, that's a lot of bones. So, are we ready to start? Whoopsie doopsie, I just remembered! I have to go to the bathroom! You two have fun! Died. Is very papyrus of him. So why are you here? To rub your victory in my face? To humiliate me even further? Is that it? Um... Uh, no? Then why are you here? Wait, I get it. You think that I'm gonna be friends with you, huh? Right? Uh... Yeah, sure. Really? How delightful! I accept! Let's all frolic in the fields of friendship! Not! Why would I ever be friends with you? If you weren't my house guest, I'd beat you up right now. You're the enemy of everyone's hopes and dreams. I will never be your friend. Challenge accepted, then. Gladys. What? Now get out of my house! Dang, what a shame. I thought Undyne could be friends with you. But I guess... I overestimated her. She's just not up to the challenge. Challenge? What? Papyrus, wait a second! Darn it! He thinks I can't be friends with you? <laughs> what a joke! I could make friends with a wimpy loser like you any day! I'll show him. Listen up, human. We're not just going to be friends. We're going to be besties. I'll make you like me so much, you won't be able to think of anyone else. Woohoohoo! It's the perfect revenge! Um, I don't think that's revenge at all. No, but this is going to be amazing. Why don't you have a seat? Okay. Gladys, give me the controller. One time Alphys's, uh friend came over here. All he did was lie seductively on the piano and fed himself grapes. I don't really like that guy, but I admire his lifestyle. You want to see my room? Too bad! No nerds allowed! Well, maybe some nerds. Uh, must be Alphys. In the sink is a teacup in the shape of a fish. Yeah, I'll look inside the bone draw. DOG! This oven is some top-of-the-line metaton thing. But, you know, as much as technology is advances, nothing beats food home-cooked with fire magic. There's a silverware drawer. It has forks, spoons, knives, tiny swords, axes, spears, nunchucks... Oh, that silverware is weird. 
Betas, give me the controls again. Oh, sorry. Humans suck, but their history kind of rules. Case in point, this giant sword! I'm pretty sure no one ever used that. Historically, humans wielded swords up to ten times their size. I don't think that's right. Right? Uh, Yeah, I'm gonna say true, just to keep her semi-sane. Heh! I knew it! When I first heard that, I immediately wanted one. So me and Alphys built a giant sword together. She figured out all the specs herself. She's smart, huh? I hate cold food. So Alphys fixed up my fridge so it heats up food instead! Hot fridge! The world's greatest invention! That really defeats the point of a fridge. Anyway, let's take a seat. Comfortable? I'll get you something to drink. All set. What would you like? Oh, I'll go. I. Hey, don't get up. You're the guest. Sit down and enjoy yourself. Um, why not just point to what you want? You could use the spear. Aim with arrows and select with Z. Undyed! That sounds like a good drink. Cletus, give me the controls. Oh, sorry. I forgot what I was doing. Are you hitting on me? Okay. Uh, fridge! Sword! Believe me, I would gladly give you your fill of swords. If you weren't my beloved house guest. The fridge? You want to have the entire fridge? No! Tea box. Blatantly correct choice. That's funny. Sugar. That sugar's for the tea. I'm not gonna give you a cup of sugar. What do I look like? The ice cream woman? Yes. No. Uh, there was an ice cream guy, but... Do human ice cream women terrorize humanity with energy spears? Yes. Are there ice cream songs a prelude to destruction? Yes! Cletus, no they're not. Is that it? I'm gonna say yes anyway. What? Really? That rules! I don't think soda's supposed to be a sickly yellow liquid. Shh, quiet. Oh, soda? Actually, even though you pointed to it, you don't look happy. Heh, that's fine. I think soda's gross too. It rots your teeth. It rots your mind. It rots your fighting spirit! Huh? Why do I have it? Good question. Oh, you want some hot chocolate? Wait, wait. I just remembered. That container's empty. I stopped getting it because it was always a hassle. Asgore kept getting marshmallows stuck in his beard! Tea, huh? Coming right up. It'll take a moment for the water to boil. She looks very different without her armor. Oh, sounds like it's ready. Okay, it's all done. Here we are. Careful, it's hot. It's not that hot, just drink it already! 
take a sip of the tea. It's burning. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, right? Nothing but the best for my absolutely precious friend! I think she's insane. You think? Yeah, I know. Weird, right? Let me rephrase that. You're now realizing she might be a little insane? Oh. I can realize things? Oh, never mind. Hey. You know, it's kind of strange you chose that tea. You wouldn't let us choose anything else. Golden flower tea. Oh, this is gonna get weird now, right? That's Asgore's favorite kind. Oh, phew, it didn't. Actually, now that I think about it, you kind of remind me of him. You're both total weenies! Sort of. I have a feeling we've got growth now. Yes. You know, I was a pretty hot-headed kid. Once, to prove I was the strongest, I tried to fight Asgore. Emphasis on tried. I couldn't land a single blow on him. And worse, the whole time, he refused to fight back. Hey, kinda sounds like our battle with him. Uh, except we did fight him back. Sounds like my battle against Toriel. Yeah, sure. I was so humiliated. Afterwards, he apologized and said something goofy. Excuse me, do you want to know how to beat me? I said yes, and from then on he trained me. One day, during practice, I finally knocked him down. I felt... bad. But he was beaming. I had never seen someone more proud to get their butt kicked. Anyway, long story short, he kept training me. And now I'm the head of the Royal Guard! So I'm the one who gets to train dorks to fight! Like, uh, Papyrus. But, um, to be honest, I don't know if I can ever let Papyrus into the Royal Guard. Don't tell him I said that. He's just, well... I mean, it's not that he's weak. He's actually pretty freaking tough. It's just that he's... He's too innocent and nice. I mean, look, he was supposed to capture you. And he ended up being friends with you instead. I could never send him into battle. He'd get ripped into little smiling shreds. That's part of why... I started teaching him how to cook, you know. So, um, maybe he can do something else with his life. Oh, sorry, I was talking for so long. You're out of tea, aren't you? I'll get you some more. Wait a second. Papyrus, his cooking lesson. He was supposed to have that right now! And if he's not here to have it, you'll have to have it for him! Uh oh Battle, 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 battle. It won't be a battle. Oh, okay. That's right! Nothing has brought Papyrus and I closer than cooking. Which means that if I give you his lesson, we'll become closer than you can ever imagine! Woohoohoo! <laughs> Afraid? We're going to be best friends! Uh, that's not how you pick up a person. Let's start with the sauce! Why was she keeping tomatoes in her, um... ceiling? Envision these vegetables as your greatest enemy! Now, pound them to dust with your fists! How will you pound? I will pound them strong like she does! You punch the vegetables at full force, you knock over a tomato. Wow, that's pretty pathetic. Yeah, yeah! Our hearts are united against these healthy ingredients. This is so incredibly stupid. 
Oh, I love this part. Now it's my turn! Nya! Okay, it went splat up against the wall. Uh, I'll just scrape this into a ball later. But for now... And more stuff is being kept in her... Um... Ceiling. We had the noodles! Homemade noodles are the best! But I just buy store brand! They're the cheapest! Uh, just put them in the pot. Oh, you put them in. I will put them in fiercely! No! I'm putting them in fiercely because I'm the one playing! Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that. That's it, you're getting tied up again. I don't care if you'll eat through the rope again with osmosis or absorption or whatever the... Whatever you used. Okay, now, putting the noodles in fiercely. You throw everything into the pot as hard as you can, including the box. <laughs> ah, I get it. I made you l talk so much that your mouth snapped the rope open. That makes much more sense. What happened to the rope? You ate it! I... 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 Uh, hate you. It clanks against the b empty bottom. Yeah! I'm into it! Alright, now it's time to stir the pasta. As a general rule of thumb, the more you stir, the better it is! Ready? Let's do it! I don't think that's how cooking works. Did you really expect to get a serious cooking lesson out of this? She broke the table, spilled all of her stuff over the floor, and pummeled her veggies into the wall. In fact, she somehow made a carrot go splat. Spinning, spinning, spinning. Stir harder! Harder! <laughs> I don't think that's what she said. Ugh, let me do it. That's not stirring. Also, I think the pan is destroyed now. Pot. Woohoohoo, that's the stuff. All right, now for the final step. Turn up the heat. Let the stove stop symbolize your passion. Let your hopes and dreams turn into burning fire. Ready? Don't hold anything back. We so much heat. Hotter. Hotter, darn it! Hotter! Everything's on fire now. Wait, that's too... Ah! Man, no wonder Papyrus sucks at cooking. So, what's next? Scrapbooking? Friendship bracelets? It... Oh, who am I kidding? I really screwed this up, didn't I? I can't force you to like me, human. Some people just don't get along with each other. Are you kidding? This was great! I understand if you feel that way about me. And if we can't be friends, that's okay. Because if we're not friends, it means I can destroy you without regret! Ah, of course it means that. I've been defeated. My house is in shambles. That is your own fault! I even failed to befriend you. That's it. I don't care if you're my guest anymore. One final rematch, all out on both sides. It's the only way I can regain my lost pride. Now come on, hit me with all you've got! Undyne is letting you make the first attack. You pretend to swing at Undyne with all your might. What? That's the best you can manage? Even attacking at full force? You just can't monster any intent to hurt me, huh? 
<laughs> you know what? I don't actually want to hurt you either. At first, I hated your stupid saccharine stick, but the way you hit me right now, it reminded me of someone I used to train with. Now, I know you aren't just some wimpy loser. You're a wimpy loser with a big heart. Just like him. Listen, human. It seems that you and Asgore are fated to fight. But knowing him, he probably doesn't want to. Talk to him. I'm sure you can persuade him to let you go home. Eventually, some mean human will fall down here. And I'll take their stole. Yeah, I'll take their soul instead. That makes sense, right? Foo hoo hoo! Oh, and if you do hurt Asgore, I'll take the human souls, cross the barrier, and beat the hell out of you! That's what friends are for, right? I really don't think so. Foo hoo hoo! Now let's get the hell out of this flaming house. Oh, the house is crying now! Well, the house is on fire. Well, that was fun, huh? We'll have to hang out again another time. But, uh, somewhere else, I guess. In the meantime, I guess I'll go hang that with Papyrus. So, if you need me, drop by Snowden, okay? Oh, and if you ever need help, just give Papyrus a ring, okay? Since we're in the same spot, I'll be able to talk, too. Well, see you later, punk. Oh, wait. This is sudden, but... Can you deliver something for me? Papyrus suggested that I ask you. But he told me when I still hated you, so... Uh, anyway, here, just take it. You got the Undyne's letter. Um, that's not a thing that needs a thun for now, uh, whatever. Well, what are you waiting for? Go deliver it! Uh, oh, yeah. It's addressed to Dr. Alphys. Okay, see you! Huh. <laughs> Sounds like only fire lives here now. I feel so bad for the poor house. It's crying. Okay, so, now that that's taken care of... Now it's off to see Dr. Alphys? Yep. tra la la what's inside an acorn? It's really just a mystery. What would actually be considered the inside of an acorn? What? Come again sometime. Tra la la. Well, now I won't have to come back. <laughs>